so welcome back to part two of completing the square. In this question, I have a much more difficult one. Um, it doesn't look like a quadratic straight away. So in order to complete the square of this one, I'm first going to have to write it as a general quadratic trinomial. So we'll multiply out these brackets. x by 2 is 2x. x by minus 3x is minus 3x squared. Minus 4 by 2 is minus 8 minus 4 by minus 3x is plus 12x, and then I have my plus 6. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is write it in our general um, form. So that would be the x squared out front, so that's minus 3x squared. Then we'd have a look at our x's, so we have 2x plus 12x, so that's plus 14x. And then we have minus 8 plus 6, so that's minus 2. Now, when we want to do uh, when we want to complete the square we need to have a leading coefficient of 1 so I'm going to factor out this minus 3 and I'll be left with x squared and then if I take minus 3 as a factor of, of uh, 14 that's going to be minus 14 over 3 x and then if I take a factor of minus 2 that's going to be plus 2 over 3 now this might look a bit more complicated than uh, than the other ones but we're still going to do the same thing so we're going to take the coefficient of x which is minus 14 over 3 we're going to half it if you half minus 14 over 3 you get minus 7 over 3 and then we're going to square that so to square it you square the top and the bottom so that'll be minus 7 squared is 49 and 3 squared is 9 so we get minus we get 49 over 9 that's what we're going to add and subtract then so on to the next line, minus 3 times x squared minus 14 over 3x and plus 49 over 9. Then we have minus 49 over 9 and then we have our plus 2 over 3. Now we take this first, the quadratic trinomial here, and we're going to factorize that. Now remember that factorizing this, it always works the same way. You take the uh, constant and you find what factors of that will uh, add to give you this one. Well, first of all, they're both going to be minus because this is a plus um, and this is a minus. So minus by a minus will give us that plus and then minus, minus a minus will give us uh, this minus here. So it looks a bit complicated what factors of 49 over 9 will give us 14 over 3. But for this, if we focus on the 49 first, well, 7 by 7 is 49. 7 plus 7 is 14. If we chose minus 7 and minus 7, you'd still get 49. And then you'd add them to get 14. What about the 9 then? Well, 3 by 3 is 9. And if you know your fractions, you don't actually add the denominators. So what it's going to be is minus 3 times x minus 7 over 2. 3 times x minus 7 over 3. So the 7 over 3, they'll multiply together to give you that. They'll add together to give you that. And then we have uh, minus 49 over 9 plus 2 over 3, which works out to be uh, minus 43 over 9. And then the last step, just to tidy it up then, we have minus 3 times x minus 7 over 3 squared. And then we can multiply the minus 3 by the minus 43 over 9, and that'll give us plus 43 over 3. So here in this one, uh, our vertex is 7 over 3, 43 over 3. And our axis of symmetry is x equal to 7 over 3. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.